all right guys this is our last video in this uh series of uh, lectures and in this video we want to put everything together and um, we want to explain what the deep in reinforcement learning means right so this uh, deep reinforcement learning is, is a branch of ai like we already explained and so it's an it's its power its strength is because it's a synergy of two fuels right it's a synergy of two subfields of of artificial intelligence which is deep learning and reinforcement learning and we know that in the future in order to achieve artificial general intelligence is going to include a lot of other fields maybe it will uh, we'll have to merge this with evolutionary computing or swarm intelligence or uh, symbolic uh, uh, programming and, and and all those kind of fields. So, so th this uh, integration of these two fields gives it the power that it uh, deep reinforcement learning has. And so, looking at uh, what does uh, uh, what is the deep in reinforcement learning? Right, reinforcement learning is really the topic, but it has deep learning, which means we combine deep learning with reinforcement learning to get deep reinforcement learning, right? And so this is why we have so many good results and we are able to scale the, 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 the reinforcement learning. So if there was no deep learning in reinforcement learning, there will be a scalability problem. So deep learning came in to provide scalability to deep reinforcement learning. It means we can learn in huge systems, right? And then uh, what is deep learning? For example, we were explaining in terms of, uh, we, we are explaining in terms of decision making. So we are learning to make decisions for day trading. So what is deep learning here? So deep learning tries to do what? It learns to predict actions given a state, right? So if you give the state the price of an asset or you give information about uh, an asset is going to predict the action that you're going to uh, that you should take so deep learning in this framework does prediction and then we have reinforcement learning right what does reinforcement learning do so reinforcement learning so I predict actions so I've predicted actions I haven't made a decision right so reinforcement learning now tells us what decision to take, right? So it, we learn to take actions that give us the best outcome, right? So this is what, so when we combine this, we have deep reinforcement learning. So now what can we define deep reinforcement learning to be, right? So in deep reinforcement learning, we learn to predict actions and take decisions, right? We learn to predict and take actions given a state, right, in order to maximize our outcome. So the combination of these two subfuels produces this prediction and decision making, which is very powerful, right? This is very powerful. And so uh, we want to uh, look at how we combine deep reinforcement learning, right? So we learn to predict and take actions given a state. So to combine this, you know, in reinforcement learning, you always have an environment, right? So you have an environment, you input an environment. So in an environment, the environment produces a state, right? So the state in which we are in, so it produces a state. So when we are at the state, what do we do next? Uh, like we saw in the previous videos, when we see a state, we make a decision. But in deep reinforcement learning, when we see a state, we send this state. In order to make that decision, we are going to send this state to a neural network, right? A neural network is a, a prediction machine, right? So we'll send this state into this neural network, and the network is going to learn to predict, so it's going to take as input our state 
and it's going to predict the action for us to take, right? So that's what the neural network will do. And so the neural network predicts an action by providing, it can provide us probabilities, right? Of those, uh, the probability distribution of buying an asset or holding or selling, right? So when it produces this probability, we are going to now use our policy which is our decision making agent which is now reinforcement learning so we use a policy to make a decision or take an action so putting this together this is what deep reinforcement learning is and this is how we can express it in its simplest high level form so this chat tries to explain what deep reinforcement learning is in its simplest level form. So you take, you have an environment, the environment produces a state. The state is sent to a neural network to predict the action to take and the action is taken by the policy. So this is a high level description of a decision making system and we'll go into details later so this is the last video in this series and if you like it please uh give it a thumbs up and let me know if there's anything uh this was not perfect if you have any questions you can please just ask me and in the next series i'm going to be uh bringing you the practical session right which will involve the first session will be how to get data right our environment is built on data. We know computers only see data. That's what they see. So we would we'll describe how to get trading data uh, on the internet, right? How to download trading data. And next, uh, after, because this is a very important step. So we'll make a, a series for that, to get data. There are different data sources what is the best and what quality would you get and after uh, getting the data what do you need to do next when we get the data we'll use the data to build an environment where we can use existing policies to learn to trade so um stay tuned guys i'm bringing you the next practical session Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.